Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church for Tuesday, the week of Pentecost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world. Let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. For a devotional thought this morning, um, I turn to him, 184, stanza two. Give to your word impressive power, that in our hearts from this good hour, as fire it may be glowing that in true Christian unity we faithful witnesses may be, your glory ever showing. Hear us, cheer us by your teaching, let our preaching and our labor praise you, Lord, and serve our neighbor. Verse 3, Almighty Rock, O source of life, let your dear word in doubt and strife in us be strongly burning that we be faithful unto death and live in love and holy faith from you, true wisdom learning. Your grace and peace on us shower by your power. Christ confessing, let us see our Savior's blessing. Uh, one of our members pointed out this weekend that the color in church was red, um, when Pastor Martin first arrived and was read also on this his final weekend. Well, it being read on his final weekend um, is because it was Pentecost weekend. The color red is associated with the Holy Spirit and the flames of fire and um, the birth of the Christian church. It's often been said that the seed of the church is the blood of the martyrs. That is, that which we are a part of, we recognize many men and women have gone before us, have fought the good fight, and have won, but they lost their lives for the sake of the gospel. I think about that in this little hymn verse, that we be faithful unto death. Well, why would it be read then at the beginning of his ministry among us? The church has long adorned itself in red when a pastor is ordained or installed into this holy ministry. The red reminds us that he is one in a long line of those who faithfully preach this word that the Lord himself gives impressive power to that burns in our hearts, that gives us the ability to be faithful witnesses, both by our preaching and also by our labor. And just worked out that way, that Pastor Martin's last Sunday was um, also Pentecost Sunday, and I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for it, um, especially uh, as um, we consider the work the last words of our first lesson on Sunday from Acts chapter 2. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. What well, was St. Paul himself who reminds us in Romans that they're not going to call on the name of the Lord unless they believe. And they're not going to believe unless they hear. And they're not going to hear unless someone has preached that to them. Um, a wide range of emotions to be sure but an overarching um, emotion this weekend um, that I heard and witnessed time again was one of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for a faithful preacher of the word, 
thanksgiving for what the Lord um, chose to accomplish through that faithful preaching of the word. And it's our continued prayer that the Lord would shower his grace and peace on us. That by his power, Christ confessing, we would see the Savior's blessing. That by his power, we saw the Savior's blessing. As Pastor Martin faithfully confessed Christ among us, we pray that same blessing on his confessing Christ in Newtonburg. We pray his same blessing that he would continue to bless the confession of Christ Jesus in our midst. Amen. The Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all the angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of heavenly hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church claims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your glorious, true, and only Son, and the Holy Spirit, our advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. In all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Have a blessed Tuesday.